I'm Blaine Reed. I'm the IPM agent for Hale Swisher in Floyd County. We're down at the Lubbock Experiment Station to talk about sorghum midge and how to scout for them and some economic thresholds for them. Sorghum midge are dipterans. They're uh, very similar to flies and mosquitoes in that same order. They're a very unique insect. Here in West Texas, they don't overwinter. They have to immigrate every year. They're very unique and they only attack sorghum and sorghum type crops or weeds such as Johnson grass. They immigrate annually uh, to our area by making the jumps up from uh, sorghum field to sorghum field or Johnson grass to Johnson grass. They only attack when uh, sorghum is in bloom as this field is uh, coming into right now. Now sorghum also blooms fairly uniquely. We've got a plant right here that's developed up in the boot stage. It's booting the head out. Shortly after boot, the plant will go into bloom. It will go into different stages of bloom. The whole head does not bloom at once, only certain portions. We can see this plant right here is about 35% bloom on up, whereas this plant here is about 95% bloom, and same here for about 40. This plant right here would be just about 5% uh, or less. Now what sorghum midge do, they're very, very small, usually red in color, uh, the adults do not feed. They're fairly uh, vestigial. They will uh, lay eggs inside of each one of these blooms, which will develop into a grain. They will lay an egg inside that bloom only during bloom stage, lay that maggot. That maggot will eat that seed from the inside and emerge as an adult later. That adult will only uh, be on the wing for one day. They will mate find another uh, uh, Johnson grass or sorghum field and lay eggs in it in that way. So when we're at uh, sorghum midge time season for your particular field, we'll need to be looking at that field daily. In our scouting program, that's very difficult to do. We do try to get back two or three times a week, but we definitely need the producers to come in and help us out uh, checking in the field. When we go to check for the field, uh, it's okay in sorghum edge to start with some edge plants, but I do suggest walking through the field, and to be sure we do that, I have my scouts uh, check a few on the edge. We cross about uh, 12 to 15 rows before we check some more plants, and so on, until we reach uh, somewhere between 25 and 40 uh, plants per field. Now, how we check? I have a very high-tech device here. You can see this is a beet bucket. Uh, I, there's several different sizes you can use, up to a five gallon bucket, uh, Clorox bottle, I prefer this milk jug. Uh, it's uh, clear enough to let some light into the inside, uh, but it's also white so that red sorghum midge adults will show up uh, in, in their beet bucket uh, well enough. I keep a little bit of an edge on it as best I can so that uh, every, nothing uh, will really fly out. So I'm gonna check this head directly. I'm gonna put the head in, tilt it over, shake vigorously and I'm going to look and see what comes out. Um, we should be looking for predators as well as the very very small sorghum midge. There'll be that scarlet reddish kind of color and then we're ready to move on to the next plant. So to determine when to start scouting the field uh, we can see uh, this plant right here has uh, just started blooming from the yellows uh, flowers right here at the top. It's shortly after boot and we need to start checking immediately for sorghum midge at this point. Whereas this head here is uh, turning the orange as uh, uh, the pollen sets and the fruit sets and yellow toward the base. This plant, this head, is almost finished completing uh, uh, bloom stage and is almost past economic sor uh, sorghum midge damage. So the economic threshold for sorghum midge will vary depending on uh, the field and the crop value. A seed milo uh, field will of course be worth more per pound than a uh, dryland uh, commercial field. So the, the threshold will vary, but generally speaking, in loose terms, it should average to be about one sorghum midge per head across the entire field before they would reach threshold. It's very important that we're, if we make a decision to treat for the sorghum midge that we take other pests into consideration and uh, salvage predators if possible. And uh, we also don't need to treat fields that uh, do not absolutely require treatment for the same reasons.